Everybody's good. Energy shift. Woo! Energy shift. Woo! Woo! So, what's up? Do I want? Head onto the dance floor. Don't you believe I can rock your body? My computer is talking back to me. It's talking back to me, y'all. Oh, you know what? Let's let's do without the light. Let's do without the light. All right, let's do let's do this. Let me use a stuck in a while. I haven't used this stuff in a, in a while. I almost just impressed you guys and said, I haven't used this deck in a minute. <laughs> but I'm not going to go there. I like you a lot. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Believe I can rock your body. Look how shaky that one crystal is. And it is more solid than the other ones. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if we're gonna about to have a tower moment. What is going on? Oh my goodness. I'm not even touching the desk. Body your body. We have the Queen of Wands with the four of pants. No. Someone. The Queen of Pants is holding on to something. I think she's holding on to something that's dead, though. It, it, it no longer exists. Nah, she's not holding on. Her back is turned. So if you think someone's holding on to you, you're mistaken. So now we got two energies. Can rock your body. So I guess we're going to separate them. Because this is this is somebody holding on, okay, for damn sure, to, to something that's dead. It's buried. It's done. It's finito. You got the Queen of Wands that's just chilling, man or female. The guides are kind of looking at this person like, hello. Oh, no, I said that before too. It's looking at a lizard. So the back's turned. So it's it's got to be two different energies. It's either that or she turned her back. Tell me about this ball coin. Ball coin, ball coin. Someone's holding on to something they should not be holding on to. In the high priestess. And it was reverse, so not using their intuition. So it looks like we're holding on to something that is no good for us. There's a no good scenario. But it's not her. Hmm. 
There's a secret here. And it's ironic because I never, ever, ever look at the high priestess like that, ever. Something needs to be revealed. An addiction, something. Tell me about the high priestess. Something needs to be revealed. It might not be a secret per se. It's just not like, oh, all this conspiring. Like, let's not tell, let's not tell Joe Schmo. It's not like that. It's just something hasn't come out. And I don't know if it has to do with money or I just feel lonely. Somebody got left out in the cold. Somebody is, is, somebody found out something and, and left the other one. Somebody packed their bags and left. Somebody must have lied to the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands turned their back. Do you see that? Is that better? I don't know. Leave it to court. All right. Uh, no, nah, I'm not even liking that right now. So, this Queen of Wands, somebody lied to her. Somebody's holding something against her, from her. Um, now, somebody, I think, is still holding on to regret, holding on to holding on to something that needs to be talked about, okay? And now that person that needs to talk about something is now feeling lonely and upset. But they they left, they still left whatever situation they were in. I, I don't know if somebody left a family. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Or if this is somebody just straight up lonely right now. Ten of Wands and it's a ten of the Queen of Wands is Ten of Cups of Rest, so she's not happy either. Neither is the family. Somebody somebody dipped out on the family. Um so she turned her back. Secrets must have came out and somebody left. But I think the person who left Karma came around and bit him in the ass. There's great karma, but there's bad karma, okay? And this person got a dose of bad karma. It's kind of like what comes around goes around. What this person did to you, it, it just happened to them. I, and I think this person's going to walk right back to you. But you're not, you're not happy with the circumstances. Let's see what this five... Let's see what this person's going to do. Tell me... Yeah, see, Knight of Swords. This person's coming at you. But look how harsh. Coming right at you. Or oh, it's the other person that they're getting a dose of right now. I I think I think they probably got in a fight with the whoever dipped out on who. Well, nah, see, this is different. Somebody left this scenario. A secret came out. You guys probably got back together and a secret came out, which again left you guys feeling out, out in the cold. Maybe you kicked him out, her, vice versa, I'm reading by the cards, okay? This person, I, I feel like they're battling the, the person that they left this person for. They're now arguing with that person. It, it's like karma came back and bit this person in the ass, and now they got an attitude, the pissy... They don't know how to hold the composure, the battling, there's jealousy, there's there's rivalry, there's a lot of stuff there, okay? <clears throat> but I still feel like this person's going to come your way. 
okay? Um, there's too many people in this circumstance right here. Yeah, chariots at the bottom of the deck. This person's going to make their way back around, okay? Best advice for my queen of wands. Best advice for my queen of wands, please. I say hijack out of there. You might got kids. They might, you might have been in a long-term relationship with this person. They might have had a family. I feel like you were together, together for a while. And I wanted to say like a hot minute. I don't know who I'm picking up on right now. Because I don't talk like that. <clears throat> Best advice for the Queen of Wands, please. Because this person's coming back. All right. Leave. Leave the situation. This person's going to want to come into the house, take their jacket off, get real cozy. This is... This is not good. This is not work on it. Okay, because you haven't even healed from this situation. Nor do I even think you're talking to this person. Even if you got a family, I don't even think you're talking to this person. They're too consumed in their own karma. Their own bullshit. Their own strife. Tell me about this three of pence. To me, this is... Take your jacket and, and tear up the contract. If it was a marriage. This does not look like, oh, I can mend this. This does not look like a mending situation. This looks like a breakup. And the person who dipped out on you, it's the Wheel of Fortune with the Queen, all right? And again, your, your back is turned, okay? So, but it would come out that way, actually. Well, I saw that first. So, if I saw that first, then it would go like this. This would come out first. Then the, okay, I'm just talking to myself. Your back's turned to that opportunity, a new opportunity with this person. Something had to, something went down the way it was supposed to go down, though. But this is confusing. Because now there's, now there's two women over here. I, I don't know if you already had somebody. I, I feel a big menage a trois. I don't know what the heck just popped in my head. I don't know if you guys played <sighs> what the actual F just happened. I, I, I say nurture like they're not saying nurture that. There's no way. That just threw me for a loop. It's like, what? You make my life complete. This person's going to come in. Unless this person's coming at you with feminine energy. Best advice for this Queen of Wands. Best advice for this Queen of Wands, please. Oh, I actually wanted the other deck. It's the Ace of Air. Brilliant new ideas, inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. So I, I don't know if that's you're on your own. It's the Queen of Fire at the bottom of the deck too. Stretch your wings. Don't underestimate yourself. And then it says assert your independence and creativity. So this is you, Dolo. Okay. It's like getting the truth. This is complicated. I don't, I don't know what just happened here. But this is, you're on your own, whether you got a family or not. You know, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. You can do this. Assert your, uh, assert your independence, all right? It's, it's the truth, seeing the truth of a situation. I think what you're seeing is a third party, and there was another woman that this person's been nurturing. Okay, and the universe just brought it to your attention. Somebody brought it to your attention.
I think you I think you kind of knew. This is the deck I wanted. Best advice for the Queen of Wands, please. And this one's over here getting a, a big old dose of karma. A big old dose of how's that feel? Like, and I know that sucks, and I'm not trying to be that person, but that's exactly what's happening. They're reaping what they're sowing. Very immature energy. Very, very immature energy. Best advice for the Queen of Wands, please. It's judgment. You're going to go through an awakening. Okay. It's a new direction. It's trusting yourself. It's it's nurturing yourself. It's a new life. It's a new love. It's strength. It's growth. You need to blossom and get on your path with the two here. Okay. Anything else? Nurture your family. Nurture your situation. That type of stuff. Dreams coming true. I wanted to go back in though. Healing processing. Your healing process is beginning. It's releasing. It's healing. It's hope for a better future. It's new direction. Letting go of past issues. Free yourself. Okay. I think if you want those dreams to come true, you, you got to get yourself out of this situation. This is time to heal. And you're not healing. Because remember in the beginning I flipped it. It was the four swords reverse. You're not healed in the situation. I think you just found out about a third party situation. You just got the truth. So you're weary. Your back's turned, but you're weary. It still hurts. It still hurts like it was yesterday. Even if it was a few months ago, it still hurts like it was yesterday. And this one's getting a dose of medicine. Best advice for this one is just own up to their own stuff. Like, I still feel like they're coming back your way, though, to be honest with you. I don't I don't think uh, it'd be a good idea to entertain that. But that's just my opinion and what, I, what I'm seeing and... And what I'm feeling, you know, they got the seven, they got the, they got the chariot moving forward. They can't stay in this situation anymore. Okay. They have no respect for any boundaries right now. They're waiting for others to make a move. But what they need to do is, is leave. You know, they need to focus, focus on themselves. All right. They need to make, they need to make a move and get out of this situation. But they're too busy and I saw the chariot too at the bottom of that when I said, yeah, that person's moving because I think they're coming to you. But I don't, I don't see this being a good idea, guys. I just, I don't, I don't. This person doesn't even know how to respect boundaries. It's like they're waiting for you to make their first move because your back's turned. Why they're over here bickering over, over bullshit. It's not a good scenario. Tell me about this chariot. I think they're coming straight to you, to be honest. See, that dream coming true wanted to come out, so I don't know if it's on their side. It's contentment. It's, But it's the Nine of Cups, so I, I think they're in La La Land. Like, this is weird. Because that, to me, would normally, that would be somebody arrogant coming at you. But they're going to want to try to heal this. and Because you're going to get the truth of the situation when this... It, it, but it's like, now all of a sudden, they're grateful for you? This is this is tricky. I don't, I don't see this being good. Okay? I really don't. I'm going to get your overall message for this situation. I, I don't... This person is definitely going to try to come back to you and, and woo you. You know? I don't know everybody's predicament, but... This doesn't look good, if you ask me. They're, they're saying take your independence and go. You know, don't underestimate yourself. Don't, don't. You just found out about a third party. There's two women here. It was somebody told you about a third party. The secret came out. They left you. And the reason why they probably left you was to be with somebody else. And now it backfired. It, it, it got bit in the ass comma, you know, got came back around, bit this person in the ass, and now they're coming towards you. 
But with these two cards, this this healing, this is basically saying this is like the six this is like the six of swords. This is going, this is releasing, this is having hope for your future, this is new directions, letting go of past issues. This is freeing yourself. This is one of my first decks. So I labeled everything. But in the blossom, that's that's judgment. It's like going you had an awakening. It's like you had a tower moment. You need strength. You need to go in a new direction, a new life. See what I'm saying? So this is this is this is let me just get an overall message. This person's coming towards you. It's one of those like I don't know what you're gonna do. It's that six of air. Things are looking up. It's the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. So this person's definitely coming to see you. Because it's their karma. It's coming back around. So, but it's also the end of a difficult situation. I, I don't see you guys necessarily mending this, though. I just don't. I mean, I guess it's a possibility, but, like, that's not what I, I'm feeling, honest to God. So, for those who are in this situation, only half is resonating. Please take this with a grain of salt, because I, I don't see... I just saw the moon, I just saw the eight of cups, and I just saw the three of hearts. I, I don't see, none of these cards are screaming, try to make this work. Any other advice, please? This is like, walk away, don't, you know, don't go towards that. It says, a life experience, a significant life event has just happened. A powerful revelation, that resolution that leads to change. It is time to spread your wings. So it's the same thing here, too. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Insert yourself. Be independent and creative and be creative. You know, it's like... It, so this is, this is a very... You have to decide and use your gut on this one, ladies and gents. Because some of you... I don't know. I does not look good to me. This person does not look good to me. They're screaming, have your independence. This is a huge life experience that just happened to you. They want you to heal and move away from this third party. This is third party all day. You know what I'm saying? So this is, but for some, there has to be, there has to be somewhere this might work. Okay? This is... I don't see you holding on to this person anymore. It's it's dead. You found out about a secret. This person's now lonely, harsh messaging. Karma came back and bit this person in the ass. You found out. You're not happy. You still turn your back, but you're not happy. And look at this mama. This mama turned her back too. See what I'm saying? So it, this person got caught up in some karma. And now they're coming back to you. You found out about this third party. This is not nurture this shit. No. <laughs> You found out about a third party, and now this one, all right, and I almost call them a mofo, okay? This is all feminine energy. This is all masculine energy. I don't know whose lingo I got right now, but it's like, what? <laughs> but this is like, this person right here is going to try to wiggle their way back. This does not look good to me. Let me just clarify this Knight of Swords. And this is like, it's talking about spring love you guys had that connection but that connection now this is where my heartache be begins okay because something just went down everything finally got revealed everything finally came out into the open you got what you were looking for you know but this one's still gonna be like doo -doo -doo. what are this knight of swords what are they an intention and remember i forgot about my crystal it just reminded me it's like a shaking it's like that tower moment that awakening you had it already. Yeah. Seven of swords with the chariot. Coming coming right at you. I don't know if it's a Cancerian. But that chariot wants to come out. This person's coming towards you. And, and they're bringing a big sack of BS. They haven't even let this shit go yet. But yet they're going to come at you. They haven't even dealt with this. This the the It's petty. They're battling with somebody. Whomever this other mama left. And I think you know. I don't know if that's your friend. I don't think you guys are going to remain friends. There's, there's a connection over here like that too. It could even be a sister. I'm not kidding. It's an it's a effed up scenario. 
it's it's a messed up scenario. That's all I'm going to say for some. But this person is coming with a bag of tricks. All right. They they got the carrying five swords. It, it's still a lose lose. Look at they they're so foolish. They they're, they're going to get caught up in their own act. This is not sabotage. This person is is coming your way, but yet is still bickering with this other person cuz somebody did somebody did him wrong. You know, and it's like, "What? What very immature energy. Very immature energy." See, again, that's kind of like you sitting there and these this or that other person, they're battling. It's it's ridiculous. Someone this is crazy. It was just time for you to find out about this third party. I, I want to say this might be family, and I'm sorry. Or like a best friend, someone who was family. It was somebody who was who was you thought was a friend, someone close or or at least an acquaintance, but you never thought they would have done that. Somebody betrayed you. And this one's still fighting with the other person that they, because that person that betrayed you is still doing their same old shit with other people. Like it, it, it's like you knew that was gonna backfire, but at the same time, your back is turned family or not? Because it was just a dirty situation, dirty, dirty, dirty. Your friend or whoever this is, she's a little bit of a dirty bird. I'm not gonna lie to you, but you know that. So this is. This is not good. This this person, this gentleman coming back at you, not good. And I think you got, I, I think the hottest thing for me right now, I feel family. It's either the family connection here or the family connection here. You got babies with them. It's something. It's something. You've all known each other. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy the connection. The all, You guys are all linked. I mean, it's not crazy actually now that I do what I do for work. I understand how it works now when everybody is linked like that. But like for those who don't know the depth of it, it would be like, whoa, that shit's crazy. I don't know what to do. I'm wasting my hat. Like, I say no. All right? And I got the goosebumps when I said that because I, you might consider it considering that this person might be the father of your children or it's just... I mean, yeah, this is rough. This is... Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Don't let that tower... Don't let that tower. Somebody might give a second chance. Now we got, show me, show me you really love me. Like, <laughs> please don't be that person. I don't know. I, I can't tell you how to live your life. I can only give you the best advice. I can only give you what I see. And this is what I see. I see a shit show. I see a very immature person over here. I see a very mature person over here who's heartbroken. Links everywhere. Lies, deceit. Ugly. Ugly, ugly truce. And I kind of feel like you might be... I don't think you're doubting, but there's something. You're doing something. Let me find out your lesson here. To, to me, it's be free. But that's just me. Everyone does what they do until they figure it out themselves. I'm just telling you what I see, okay? Queen of Wands lesson. Queen of Wands, what's her lesson? You just be real careful with the Wheel of Fortune here. It's like they're giving you a chance to, to heal and be a brand new person. They're giving you a chance for that change, okay? Or they're going to give you a chance to repeat the wheel. It depends on, you know, you want to ride the carousel again, it's on you. I understand that nothing can grow involved without movement. So it's like you know you need to change. Well, you don't yet. It, you do and you don't, okay? Because this is kind of fresh. Even if it was a couple months ago, it feels fresh, okay? That's how painful the situation is. Because everybody is every want to know why? Because everybody's fucking linked. Everybody. So it's like you can't even go to the grocery store without Tom, Dick, and Harry telling you, "Ah, did you see that? Ah, did you see? Ah, did you see that? Oh, oh, that person did you? Ah, da 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 da." Yeah, I know what you're dealing with. Okay. Take this is you, you, this is your lesson to take this change, this change, and go. Go create something brand new with your mind. You have the Queen of Wands. She's creative. Go create something brand new. This person's lesson. I don't think that one's going to fall out, but I'm not sure. Now I got to get it because I said it. 
this one's lesson, this this one that's that's immature. That I think you some of you think that you can this person's changed. Look at it right over here. All right, humor. They need to focus on the see everything on the lighter side of life right now. Everything's so negative. Everything's so so negative. They're hanging out with the wrong people, the wrong crowds. People who think that are their friends are not their friends. Okay. Super negative over here. But regardless, it's just, I'm sorry. It is such a tough, tough circumstances. Really, really is. This is this is a battle. This is not the average breakup. This is a battle. And it's, it's not over. You can choose for it to be over, but it's not really over, over. There's too many links. Family, kids, it's something. This is a tough one. This is a hash, hash, hash reality lesson. I wish you the best. Please take care of yourself. Leave this Cracker Jack in the box, please. It is a Cracker Jack. If you're going to give a second chance, you know, go ahead. Like I said, you know, we, we do what we do. We You repeat the same mistake over and over. You don't realize it until you really realize it. Nobody can tell you. But I, I'd watch who you hang out with, who you're talking to, too. It doesn't it doesn't help when somebody's like, oh, I saw so-and-so online with that, you know, because that's, that's the type of energy. That's kind of like what you're dealing with for surroundings. And it sucks because it's like you can't even move forward. I mean, you can, but you can't, not without hearing Joe Schmo's name. You know, you're in a tough, tough, tough circumstance. Tell me about this wheel of fortune. So this is on you, whether or not you're going to repeat the circle cycle or move forward. Babies or no babies, family or no family. I mean, I, I you don't even know what relationship to mend. If this was a sister, a best friend, you don't even know which one to mend. All right. The queen of cups is just, yeah, like I said, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a tough, tough, tough scenario, guys. It's. I can't even say you're over emotional, okay? You are beyond emotional right now. You, you, no one even has the right to say you're over exaggerating. You're not. This is such an emotional situation for you, and I know it is. I feel it, okay? But you're dealing with Joe Schmo. He belongs in a crackerjack. There's no maturity here. Don't let this one fool you, because they're coming with a bag of lies. All right. Coming in the brand new, the brand new whatever. I almost said whip. I don't know who, I don't ever use that expression. I don't know who I'm channeling. I'm, I'm sure plenty of you, because I'm feeling different scenarios. I bet you all got a little dose of this with your recent breakup. It's unfortunate. which But it makes sense, because certain lessons that go around are for a, a majority of the mass. Okay, and this was a, a beyond tough. This is going to be a battle for a, a long time. Who ugh. Just try to take care of you. Listen to the beat in your heart. Where do you want to go? How do you want to proceed? What What are your needs? Okay? Not, I miss the comfort. Because when people put themselves back in these type of situations, it's because you miss the comfort. You miss the routine. You don't miss this person. What did this person do for you? Because it looks like this person got caught up with somebody you know very well, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? See, it's, it's no good. I'm sorry. This person's still battling, but still coming to you. All right? Yeah, like, oh, I love you. da 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 what they're going to do is throw all this bullshit in the air. Well, it went like this and it went like that. And it's it's the effing blame game, too. You know, it's it's very unfortunate. I wish you the best. Please take care of yourself. Love you lots. Bye, guys. I love you guys. Be it's okay. It's okay you like this right now. I feel you. I know. Let it out. And take care of yourself. Okay? Really shitty circumstances. But you will. You will figure out how to move forward. I promise. I promise. I love you guys. Bye.